Welcome back to my channel. My name is Push, aka the Creative Queer, the masculine cotton eating queen. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be talking to you about my birthday weekend, Jonga. What an eventful weekend! What a beautiful weekend! A lot was happening, but I kind of need to rewind and reflect and look at the footage. So I thought, let me sit down and actually tell you guys what ha what had happened. Uh, if you follow me on social media, please do follow me on social media. My hash. I was going to say my hashtag. My handle is push underscore success on Instagram. On Twitter, I am. Don't put those Twitter names. I need to actually explain this. Um, on Twitter, I am P U M underscore A Y. So it's Pume or like Pumi. Get it? That's why I'm on Twitter. Um, do follow me on social media. If you did follow me on social media, you would have seen the eventful weekend. I don't even remember it was snapping or what I snapped. But anyway, let me tell you about my birthday. Let's roll the bumper. I turned, how old did I turn? To everybody's shock, I turned 28 um, just the other week at the end of the May, um, on the 29th of May. Um, and every year of my birthday, I really like celebrating myself. Um, I have a big thing about my birthday. I want my friends to come. I Everything needs to stop for just this one day of the year and let's just celebrate and push. So I always do an, a, a birthday weekend thing. I want an, an activity and this year was perfect because my birthday fell on a Saturday which was perfect meant I didn't have to go get up for work and just do work things I just felt like it was my day the whole day type of thing so the whole weekend it was perfect um, on the Friday the plan is to go to Mandisi Yankesi Saturday it was the plan was to go have lunch with friends and then go out and go dancing in the streets or whatever and then Sunday was the Rainbow Social Sundowners which kind of was the cherry on top to the whole weekend um, so that's what I did. So on Friday uh, after work, um, I'm excited to go see Mandy Sikyangisi. Uh, my girlfriend and I set out to this. First of all, the event is a portion evil. So I was thinking to myself, hey, Mandy, this in the house as a lab, it's all portion evil. So anyway, um, I put it on the GPS, we drive. Kalusman DC on the way, yeah. and it's just five meters. Turn right. Turn right. Next thing. Hey man. Also, it was like after work, so it's like dark and it's winter. Next thing, we're driving, it's dark, this road is being, there's a construction happening on this road, so only one lane works, but on this one lane, there are no lines on the, on, there are no um, driving lines, you don't see which lane you're in. Yay, it was a mess trying to drive to the venue. The GPS is taking us, where I got the shop was when the GPS was starting to say, turn left, turn left was into a gravel road. Girlfriend was also panicking and trying to call her friend, trying to verify this venue because we're like, this sounds like a scam, you know? And in my mind, I'm thinking, no man, Mandy, this is a big artist. You wouldn't do this to us. Like, this is a and you know, this experience is just, it's a lot, okay? A lot is happening. Um, eventually, I decided to call, I had saved the, the venue or the organizer's number. When I bought, purchased the ticket, there was a number, an inquiry's number. So I called him like, yo, where where's this place? And it's like, oh, it's yeah, you're going to the gravel road. It's sort of, I'm like, in a gravel road. And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's just a gravel road. And you go into the no, you'll see it there. And I'm just like, oh my god. And then we kept on driving, probably drove in a gravel road. There's like high trees coming here. Um, we go, drove into this gravel road. Uh, we eventually get to the venue. We get to the venue, there's no network at this venue. It's uh, we use a, a ticket system that needs you to be online. You have to get there. There's COVID forms that you have to fill in. I can't access these COVID forms because they're online and there's no network yet. And the organizers are not helping us. And it was just it was just a mess. Okay. Eventually, we got into the venue. We sat down. The service was also not that great. Um, they had one waiter across. I don't know how many tables. Like even the lady, the way she approaches was like, you know, just order your thing now because I'm gonna take a while to come back. 
um but all of this promotion and all of that to say um I mean, it was worth it when Woman Lisa came onto the stage and the band is riling you guys up and it's live music and it goes. Friday night, um, it was really really nice. Saturday night, I spent in Saturday night, Saturday afternoon. Um, I just had a lunch with um, some close friends of mine um, at a really cute restaurant. Really love the aesthetics, not really a fan of the food. Um, uh, this was a restaurant that my sister picked out, and it was kind of like a last minute thing. Um, I didn't really book out any venues and all the venues that I wanted. Um, they were already taken so I was like ah, okay and also this one I didn't feel like I was compromised because the restaurant was cute but the menu I couldn't I couldn't pronounce all of those things I was like <laughs> what the fuck um, but it was nice towards the end it's a lot of champagne and we hit the street and go Uh, we went dancing, fire rockets. We don't recommend rockets as a queer person uh, club culture. That's another conversation for another day, but it's not my it's not my vibe. That's why I think queer spaces are so important, which brings me to Day three was the Rainbow Social. If you don't know what the Rainbow Social is, 
go follow to on Instagram. Uh, cool, cool, um, cool event curated. Cool event experiences. Like it's a, yeah, it's it's beautiful. Okay, you had to be there. It was Rainbow Social Sundowners, so that was happening a great thing. And Brown Fontaine, if you enjoy what that is, um, it was really dope. I had a good time. By the end of the night, <laughs> I was on top of. Uh, I was on top of the tables having the time of my life. One thing about me, I love dancing and I like a space that just allows me to dance, a safe space. Um, I just, you know, I love, I love the Rainbow Social. I felt safe, I felt seen. Um, we welcome Pride Month uh, with these beautiful balloons going up into the sky. Um, to say, yeah, we're here, we're queer and uh, I see now. So yeah, that was my birthday weekend, pretty eventful. Um, highly recommend you to always celebrate yourself, man. One thing about the pandemic that has taught us is that life is fragile and it's, 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 it, you are here today and you are gone tomorrow. And I got a lot of birthday, I got some birthday presents! Cha! Mm. I don't know if I should show you my birthday presents. I'm gonna show you my birthday presents in Gabo. Guys! <laughs> Guys! Guys! What? Hi, what a girlfriend, man. What a girlfriend. She got me these. These are so nice. These are so fresh. What I didn't know was the back, the back of the shoe. Um, it's got this lining, which, which the, the brown ones don't have this back, which I really think such a good touch. And the fact that this is like embroidery. Like, I thought it was um, screen print, which really makes them very durable. Like, I'm going to wear this for years. This is a classic. This is a fashion. This is, uh, it just elevated my drip 10 times, man. So that's what my girlfriend gave me. Um, love it. Um, probably gonna create more reels on it. Really, really dope shoe. My friends got me. Uh, this is such a thoughtful, so this is a book by Audre Lorde called A New Spelling of My Name. Um, I thought this was really thoughtful. I feel really seen by this friend in particular who kind of really loves and and I think she's really for me an ally like we show me that kind of shows up and kind of understands um, or to a certain degree kind of understands who I am as a queer person and kind of sees sees that so I really think this was really a beautiful gift shout out to Twaiki um, I really am looking forward to reading this book um, it's been a while since I read the book <laughs> I really really am looking forward to this book um, it's such a precious such a precious gift, man. Oh, love you, girl. And another friend of mine gave me, girl, this is a Zara gift card. Uh, gave me a Zara gift card. She knows that. She knows that I'm always be dripping. You know, I'm masculine. Cotton eating queen. Um, and then, Second last gift, the other gift I've already used it because I've been excited. Um, and then my work colleagues got me this voucher from Sports Scene. They have the swag. I love people who love me, who have the swag. So they're like, you know, Sports Scene is really kind of a hip hop sporty brand. Um, sells a lot of athleisure. So they have the girl, they have the queen. So I'm gonna spend this on clothes. I love people who see me. And the last thing, my sister got me. I'll put a picture on it uh, on somewhere here. Um, my sister got me a cheese board, and I am an advert cheese boarder with my girlfriend. We really like that as a snack. So it's so this whole cheese board. It comes with a cheese knife. It comes with a pizza cutter thing. Um, it's it's really dope. Um, that's how I celebrated 28 years of life. Um, really, in my mind, I feel like I am a 20, 25 year old. Um, am I where I thought I would be at 28? Um, definitely not, but I think my concept of age um, is really misconstrued. I'm definitely um, at a good place. Um, I thought I'd be married with kids, <laughs> married to a man with kids at this point. But I don't really have any life regrets. As he, as he, I wouldn't have in my life any other way right now. Um, I think I'm, I'm really in a place that is content, I'm on the come up, I know what I kind of want to need to do with my life and yeah man, I'm really enjoying this life thing. Yo, thank you so much for watching, please do comment, subscribe and like and share this video if you will. Um, happy Pride Month.
Peace in the Middle East.